What was the process of putting a summit like this here in Sacramento? Yeah, so we had uh, a very unfortunate uh, incident in our city about a year ago, Lena. Uh, and uh, it's almost been a year now, and I stood on center court, and I made a commitment to the city that uh, we would work hard uh, to make our community better. And then within a week of that, uh, we formed a partnership with Bill Black. And we've had a number of programs. Uh, we've had STEM uh, workshops, we've had skills programs. Uh, we have a youth uh, uh, Kings and Queens Rise uh, Basketball League. Uh, and so this is really uh, one more uh, way to bring people together uh, and to talk about what's happening, uh, to spread uh, the message. Uh, to learn best practices and really to unite people. Now the fact that the Bucks had a unfortunate incident in their community, uh, this is Black History Month, uh, and I know that the Bucks uh, owners uh, are very much uh, supportive of what we're trying to do here. So it seemed like it was a good opportunity uh, to bring two teams together, to bring two cities together, to team up for change, uh, and really hope that this fire that we've lit becomes uh, a huge, huge bonfire that everybody can gather around. I think that with you first taking center court last year and what you guys are doing here, people are nationally recognizing the initiatives that you are putting in place here in Sacramento. What has been that response been like here in the community or just nationally here for the organization? Yeah, I have been blown away by the response, uh, uh, both within the community, but also not just on a national scale, but even on a global scale. Uh, and so what's happening here is something special. We took a very tragic situation and we're trying to make some good uh, come out of it. Uh, and I've just been showered with support and love, uh, not just from other basketball teams, but from all kinds of leagues and all kinds of people uh, from the world over. And some people might look at a Colin Kaepernick situation and the way that the NFL stepped away from that and the way that that's kind of played out. And it seems like you guys are leaning into speaking and using your platform for social change. How important is that for you to be a part of that? Yeah, when I bought the uh, Kings, I've always said that it's bigger than basketball. And I laid out a mission statement for the team. The mission was uh, to build a winning franchise that enhanced the lives of those it touches and makes the world a better place, starting with our own community. Uh, now, we're blessed to be in a league where we have great leaders. It was David Stern, and now it's Adam Silver. Uh, and they've always been on the right side of history. They haven't been afraid to give voice to the voiceless and to speak out uh, for what they think is right. Uh, so with that kind of leadership, and then we have an amazing group of players in the league, uh, even though they're young, they're passionate, they're knowledgeable, they're engaged, uh, and they're willing to put their time and their resources uh, to make the world better. Uh, so it's only natural that ownership uh, would follow that example. My final question is, this is going to take Milwaukee next year, anything in between that you see Sacramento hosting in terms of similar events? Yeah, we hope that this is just one of many uh, events that we have, and uh, we will continue to roll out different programs uh, over the year. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.